Hi, Dr. Pelto here. I had a question from a patient of mine. They were uh, talking a little bit about matrixectomies. Uh, the question is, after a matrixectomy has fully healed, can I apply moisturizing lotion to the nail bed as a long-term care procedure? I want to be clear, most of my patients after a matrixectomy, they, they don't need to do anything. But let me go in and explain a little bit about what a matrixectomy is. What you, what you see here is um, an ingrown toenail on this picture on the left. You can see the, the extra tissue here on the side. You can see this nail growing in. And one of the treatments for this is something called a matrixectomy. It's actually a, a procedure where you take a portion of the nail out and you put a chemical underneath the skin right at the nail base, just on that edge. It's called a chemical matrixectomy. That's what we use 99% of the time. There are two chemicals that we use. One, uh, someone was asking this as well. One is 10% uh, sodium hydroxide, and the other one is 89% phenol. You, you can't do this at home, okay? This isn't something that you can do at home because you can't do this without numbing up the toe. You have to numb the toe at the base and then you remove a portion of the nail and you put the chemical in there. And the healing process is usually four to six weeks. I see my patients either back at two weeks and two weeks, which would be two weeks and four weeks, or just at three weeks if they've had a procedure before recently, just to save them time. I, I do recommend one follow-up, one to two follow-ups. What can happen with this is there can be a little bit of an infection. There can be some drainage. There can be redness all down here at the base. This is all normal. It's going to get red. The skin's going to slough off kind of like snake skin. That's all normal. And then afterwards, you're going to have dry skin to the edge. The whole, the whole goal is that the fold of the nail will go up and line up with the nail right here. And that's going to be normal. If there's some dry skin, you can put some, some moisturizing cream on there. If it's still open, I recommend using triple antibiotic or neosporin on the edge instead of using a moisturizing cream. But once it's healed, then you don't, uh, then you don't really need anything. You can if you need to. If there's a little piece of nail that grows back, that's called a spicule. Uh, you can treat that, but normally you don't have to do anything with that. Now, this other picture, this is an example of a total matrixectomy. And instead of just removing an edge of the nail, you remove the whole nail and you apply the chemical at the base where the nail grows from and, and, and pretty much all the base here, the nail bed, we call that. And the goal is that none of the nail grows back. We do this on certain cases. If someone has a very bad ingrown toenail, a very bad fungal toenail, uh, trauma to the nail, a really thick nail due to some type of an injury, we'll do that. And what you see here, there's a little piece of nail that's growing back. And then if it's dry, you can use some type of a, a moisturizing lotion or um, something moisturizing on the toe. Um, that's fine. These moisturizers are fine. Once it healed, it takes about, I don't know, six to eight weeks for this to totally heal. And then if there's any nail growth, then you can retreat that. You could also do this instead of with a chemical. There's a way of doing this a sharp, we call it, which is where you use a, a razor blade to cut out the nail matrix, which is the where the nail comes from. Okay, hope this helps. I'm going to put uh, some other uh, videos here, some other resources. I'm going to put a link to my ingrown toenail course, which is a course of everything you need to know about ingrown toenails, uh, as well as some other videos here. Hope you find this. If you have other questions about ingrown toenails, please put them on the bottom so that I can uh, answer any of those questions for you and uh, help you guys out. Okay, hope you uh, found this uh, enjoyable. Okay, thanks.